Hi guys, welcome everybody. Hi, come on in and get comfy. I am Vanessa Levin from Pre-K Pages, one of the most popular early childhood websites in the US and also the founder of the Teaching Tribe. The Teaching Tribe is my premium membership site for teachers just like you, teachers of preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, Head Start, in-home child care, and more. And over in the Teaching Tribe, our members have access 24-7 to all of the paid printables from Pre-K Pages, which is a $1,000 value. So it's a huge value because members don't pay that. They can join uh, at monthly or annual rates and get a huge discount. Then we also have our supportive community for new and veteran teachers, a safe haven for asking and answering questions. And in addition to all of the printables in the resource vault and the supportive community, we have more than 40 hours of on-demand video trainings on hot topics in early childhood education. Each one comes with a certificate of attendance for one hour. So tonight, thank you for joining us. I see a lot of Teaching Tribe members in the house. Um, I made this light table and I thought I would share it with you. So what I did was um, I went live in our free Facebook group. Our Facebook group is Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes and Tom will drop a link to that for you if you're not already a member over there. And um, I, it was a Saturday or a Sunday and I wanted to make this light table, but I really wasn't sure like the specifics of how I was gonna do it because there's millions of tutorials out there, but um, which was the best way to do it. And so I was toying around with it and I went live in the group and then there was this wonderful lady, well, lots of, lots of wonderful teachers are there, but this wonderful lady named Debbie M. She came in and she actually shared a video with us of how she made hers. And so I adjusted my thinking <laughs> and used her awesome idea to make my light table even better. So I'm going to share it with you tonight. I'll flip the camera around here in just a minute. So the materials I used, this whole thing was made for about $20, $25. So if you have a commercial light table in your classroom, you know that they are super expensive. They run anywhere from $250 and up, $250 and up. Um, depending on how large you want them to be, how many kids you want to be able to play play at the table. Um, so they're a very hefty investment. So if you work in a situation where you can't possibly afford to have one of those commercial light tables, um, I thought I would try to make one out of an under storage, an under bed shoe storage box. You know, one of those um, like Sterilite plastic containers that you slide under your bed that you would normally store things in like shoes or sweaters or whatever. Um, I took one of those and so this is one I've had laying around uh, for years and years. It used to sit um, underneath my guest bedroom bed and then it was in my garage for a long time. Tom was using it to store something. I said go and get that old box out. I need that. Um, so I've had this Sterilite storage container for a really long time. Um, and I think they run about $10 maybe um, at Walmart. I think five or 10. Um, and the one I have, I believe is 26 inches long by 18 inches wide. So it's not huge. And they come in all different sizes. So if you have a larger area, get a larger underbed storage container. And if you don't have much space at all and you can't even fit, the smaller one, um, the small one like I have, then you can do individual shoe boxes, which is what um, Debbie M was saying over in the group. So I have the underbed storage container from Walmart, or you can get it at Target or whatever your store of choice is. And then tissue paper, that was the secret ingredient that I was missing. I was trying to use parchment paper originally to cover the lid. So the lid of your storage container has to be clear Okay, and so that is the problem is sometimes those storage containers have colored lids, so it has to be clear. And then I was trying to cover my storage lid with um, parchment paper on the inside, but parchment paper is made not to stick to anything, and so I couldn't get the tape to stick it on there. So it worked wonderfully for diffusing the light. It was beautiful, but it kept falling down. So anyway, Debbie said she used tissue paper and just regular old scotch tape, 
and that is what I did and that worked beautifully and then inside I have I started out using these under cabinet lights that I found online and they were very inexpensive um, but Debbie said she used puck lights puck lights are round like tap lights um, only I found a set at a discount store near us it's not a discount store that exists anywhere else it's like a mom-and-pop closeout shop and I found puck lights there that have a remote control. You can probably find the same thing on Amazon. So they're, they're battery powered and I turn them on and off with this little remote. And so those cost me for, um, how many are there Tom? There's 12. 12 of those cost me $20. So um, $20 plus the $10 for the box if you don't already have the storage box is all that I paid to make this um, but I already had the box on hand then there's tissue paper oh and batteries and tin foil I use tin foil to line the inside of the box so that is my only investment so it's much better than two hundred and fifty dollars of course it free would be better <laughs> so you can ask your friends if they have any underbed storage containers with clear lids they don't need anymore because goodness knows we all have enough plastic storage containers and then find some puck lights Puck, P-U-C-K, like hockey puck. Um, and like I said, I found mine in a closeout discount store um, for $10 for a pack of six. And so I bought two packs. So I have 12 puck lights, which you'll see in a minute. And then the batteries for those. And then the storage container, the tissue paper, the tape, the tin foil. That's it. <laughs> and then whatever you want to put on top. And so I have some ideas. I have a surprise for you. Something I found at the dollar store to put on your um, on your DIY light table. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to try and turn the camera around. And then I will take the lid off the box and you can see what is inside. So you might look at my ceiling for a minute. Yep, there's my ceiling. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Somebody said on the last show, awesome ceiling. Okay, so this is the unexciting top of my light table, but I'm gonna take it off. And here are the puck lights, okay? So these, you can tap them on and off, okay? But they also have this cool remote control. Which is my remote control. And I can press the button and they turn off and I can press the button and they turn on and so that means I don't have to locate it near a power outlet and that is a good thing right because goodness knows that it's hard enough to find space in our room to do any of this let alone find an outlet so here you can see I've lined the container with tin foil or aluminum foil and I just taped that um, to the sides of the box so that's it just it's just taped around the edges that's it with just um, I use some uh, masking tape and some scotch tape whatever you got on hand and then I took the lid and I simply just used scotch tape and I taped one piece or maybe it's two pieces two pieces of tissue paper only because I didn't realize there was two and they were stuck together but and I'm going to turn it over and my tub here has latches. I'm going to latch it. And then check out, I found these. So I went to Daiso. If you've watched any of my more than 100 Facebook Live broadcasts before, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Japanese dollar store um, that we have a lot of here in Texas called Daiso, D-A-I-S-O. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, um, but it is an amazing store for teachers. I told Tom we were there on Friday, Thursday or Friday last week, and I said, this is really a teacher's paradise because they have some really unique stuff. Um, these are not unique though, but I'll show you what I got that is. Um, these are colored shot glasses, and they only had them in green and pink, but they had another color they were sold out of, so I'll have to go back. But I have a whole package of these. There's like 100 of these in a package, maybe 50. Anyway, they can stack and build with these, and you can see how these look amazing on the light table. I also have some light table posts. Tom will share links for you in the comments below. I have some posts about what a light table is, um, the benefits of the light table, how to make your own this tutorial as well, and some tools you can use on your light table. But these are shot glasses. These are plastic. 
plastic shot glasses, okay? And you put them on your light table and they shine up and they look amazing so kids can build with them <clears throat> and do all kinds of things. The next thing that I have, these are, how do you, what do you call these? These are the things that you put in your notebook, right, that divide uh, your notebook into sections and they are this transparent type stuff if they're colored and they have their tabbed dividers I'll show you the package I got these at Daiso but you can get these anywhere any target will have these at back to school so you see what I'm talking about they have the three holes there and they have the tab dividers there and they came in a pack of all these different colors so I simply took them and cut them out in here like for example this could be little blue and little yellow if you're familiar with that book um, so you can have you can cut out shapes out of those you could write things on those just leave them as they are and write things on there um, I cut out some shapes I traced some shapes here um, kids could put the little glass gems on top of these if your kids don't put things in their mouth if not then if they do then choose something else and then um, there's a heart for Valentine's Day grace they're great for color mixing um, all kinds of cool stuff. So these little page thingies, whatever they're called, in tabbed indexed dividers, um, they were $1.50 a day. So you can get them on the back to school sales at Target or any of the other types of big box stores like that. They have them all the time um, and they're super cheap and you know, a dollar, just about a dollar. So I just cut some shapes out of those and these are great for the light table. So that's cool, right? And then of course, see I'm building up to the thing I found at Daiso that y'all are gonna just die for. Um, these are magnetiles. A lot of you have these in your classroom. You can get these on Amazon. Um, I have a link to these on my light table tools page. These are really cool. I just got a few of them out for you tonight, but they can build with them. They're magnetic. And so what you do is when you touch them together, they stick and then the light shines through. Super cool for building. Um, in incorporating some STEM in your classroom. So these are awesome. I just took a few out tonight. But they can build houses and all kinds of stuff. But here's the thing that you're gonna go crazy for. So I went to Daiso and they had a whole end cap of these. Okay, have you seen these before? These are like sensory bottles, okay? Only they're pre-made and they don't open. So I had a friend who gave me one of these years ago and she didn't know, like she got it at some off brand, like one, one store only mom and pop dollar store. And she gave it, she gave it to a couple of us that she worked with and the kids love them so much. It was like the abs. Yes. If you're from Texas, you know, we have a lot of those one off dollar stores that are just mom and pop, not chains. Um, but, uh, let me put it down flat because that's how it works best. Um, it was my favorite thing in my science center for years and years. I still have the one she gave me. It's more than 10 years old. These are the exact same thing. They work best when they're flat. So I'm going to stick them down like that. They had these at Daiso. They were $3 each. So instead of being $1.50, they were $3 each. And when you sit them on your light table, Look at how amazing that looks. Let me just take this off and so you can get a better. Check that out. Is that not just stinking amazing? And of course I have it turned around so I'm getting it all mixed up. But look at how beautiful that looks on your light table. So I have my do-it-yourself light table and then these little puppies I found at Daiso. These are the three colors they had in the round tubes. These do not open. I have the pink one. I've had, um, I have another one just like it that I've had for more than 10 years. They don't open. There is no open feature on these. They're very durable. Um, this is what the tag looks like at Daiso. Sorry, I have it on the backwards cam and I can't. Ah, there we go. Um, and of course it's backwards, but and then there's the uh, the price tag there. I kept the price tag on for y'all, $3, okay? So 
These are $3 at Daiso. And then they had some even cooler ones. This one, check this one out. Check that out. Is that not the coolest? Can you see your kids going crazy for this or what? So what my kids used to do, I had one of these in my Calm Down Center. Um, these are from Daiso LK. Um, this, it's a Japanese dollar store, and these are kind of like sensory bottles or discovery bottles. They're pre-made. They were $3 at Daiso, and my kids would love to look at these when they were having a moment where they needed to compose themselves. I would have kids who would go over there. This one doesn't last quite as long. I have to turn it over. And they would just stare at these and just calm themselves while they looked at them. So that's what these are. And they're also considered visual timers, um, but they're not timed to any exact time. It says right on the label, not timed to be specific about the time that they take, but they are a visual timer as well. Um, these are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put it back on the camera, back on the stand so I can talk to you now without shaky cam. Um, so these are super cool. These are amazing and they came from Daiso. They don't open, they're not made to open. If anything happens to them, they're done. They're not like reusable, but I thought it was super cool. Okay, all right, so that's what I did on my light table. So far, we've done the little shot glasses. They're plastic, they're from Daiso. And then we did the little, these little thingies, the tabbed dividers. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's what I have. Um, Bobby says, I saw them this weekend. Now I wish. Bobby, were you the one that came down from Oklahoma? Uh, Shelly says, why can't we have a store near us? Shelly, do what? I think Bobby's the one who did it. She she was in town for um, for one of her kids for a sporting event, and she went. She made a special trip to Daiso. Um, let's see. Would the cricket cut that? I bet it might, Angel. That's a good idea. The cricket might cut. This stuff is really thin. It's thinner than vinyl. If the, if your cricket cuts vinyl, then it should certainly cut this. This is very flimsy. So I'm thinking it would. Let us know if you figure that out, Angel. Hey, Jen is here. Yay, LK. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, let's see. Dividers. Yes, Debbie is here. Debbie, you're the one that helped me make my uh, light table. Yay, Debbie's in the house. Debbie, thank you so much. Yes, I used your tissue paper idea, Debbie, and it worked beautifully. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I found the puck lights. I didn't find them in a dollar store, but it was still much cheaper than buying a commercial light table. There's Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Um, Lori says, she, I think she's talking about the shot glasses. These are great for stacking and fine motor. Absolutely. So take stacking and fine motor into your light table or onto your light table. Um, <laughs> all right. Hey, Maria's here from the Teaching Tribe. Debbie says she's going to try the tin foil. I think it really helps, Debbie. I think it helps make the light brighter on top so the light doesn't, um, you know, ooze out through the sides, if that's a thing. Um, hey, Gloria's here. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, and if you're just joining us, um, you can watch this replay as soon as I'm done talking tonight. You can watch it from the beginning so you can see all the, the setup that I have uh, before uh, before you make yours. Uh, Michelle, does the lid have to be clear? Yes, that's how it works. The light shines up through the lid, so the lid has to be clear. Um, and then the tissue paper diffuses the light. So the light is in underneath, it's inside the box, and the, and the tissue paper diffuses the light as it shines up through. Hey, Clarissa. Hey, Jeannie. All right, Ola BC's in the house. Yay. All right. I'm just catching up with comments here to make sure I said hi to everybody. I went, whoops, I went up as far as I could on my teeny tiny little screen here. Oh, let's see. 
Halloween shapes are amazing. Yes, I had an orange one, but I couldn't find my pumpkin, Debbie. I was going to cut out a pumpkin. Um, <laughs> ooh, sensory jars. I'll have to look that up. Um, the, the tissue paper, Elizabeth, the tissue paper diffuses the light through the top. So right now you're looking through the top of my um, light table, but you can't see the 12 puck lights individually. So you're not seeing the little shiny individual lights of each puck light. You're seeing a smooth, even surface. And that's what the tissue paper does is helps diffuse the light instead of having pinpoints of light like you would get if you didn't use it. So that's a good question. All right. Hey, Jody is here. There's lots of literacy ideas for a light table, Jody. I'll have to do another broadcast on that. Um, window blocks, says Lori. Yes, I've seen those. There's blocks, and then they have this type, type of stuff here in the middle, and they look amazing on the light table. Yes. So these are just some ideas. Um, and this was my um, day so find of the week over there. I am going to flip it around now. So hold on a second. You're going to look at my ceiling again. It is a beautiful ceiling. There we go. Okay. Woohoo! Might be a little off center. There we go. Okay, so I hope that you got some ideas for a do-it-yourself light table. Yes? Show, show the divider package again. The what package, honey? Divider package. The package of dividers. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I don't know what these are called in real life. <laughs> so these are um, three ring binder dividers. That's what they are. And they come from any big box store, office supply, dollar store, Dollar uh, Dollar Tree has these a lot. I got these at Deso for $1.50 just because I was already there picking up these amazing sensory bottles. Um, and then I just cut shapes out of them. You can also just write, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, draw a letter on one of them and put it on your light table and the kids could use gems and stuff. Yes? Do this. Do the lights slide around at all inside the box? Do the lights slide around inside the box? So that's a good question too. So the lights in my box have um, tape on the bottom. They actually came with little sticky pads on the bottom. So a lot of puck lights will come with sticky stuff on the bottom and you can just stick them to the bottom of your tub or you can add tape on your own to stick them in there. Because yes, if it gets jostled around, they could move around. So when Debbie was showing us her box, she had these puck light strips that were that had adhesive on the back and then she put them all around the edges of her table to give it some extra oomph and those were super cool. So those puck lights come, uh, a lot of them will come with sticky stuff on the back. So that's a good question. So again, to review the materials I used, one underbed storage container with a clear lid that you can get from any big box store, Target, Walmart, whatever. You choose the size. Then I use tissue paper, scotch tape, aluminum foil or tin foil if you prefer, and puck lights. And I had to have batteries for the puck lights. Um, if I find some of those puck lights that are similar to what I have on Amazon, I'll add them to the blog post. So we have several blog posts at Pre-K Pages. We have one that's kind of what is a light table, what are the benefits. We have one about how to make your own. So there is a blog post with all of these instructions in it that Tom will leave for you in the comments below. And then we have one all about the different tools and toys that you can use on a light table. Um, so that is my do-it-yourself $25, $30 light table, um, which is much cheaper than the $250 to five seven hundred dollar range that you find them on the teacher supply sites. So I hope everyone um, got some ideas that they can use in their classroom. I know Debbie said she uses little individual shoe boxes too. So if you have a little teeny tiny space, kids could have their own. Um, you could have a couple kids doing that at a time. Somebody even said, I don't know if it was here in the comments or in the group, that a uh, light table might be good for your non-nappers. So if you have a nap in your classroom and you have some kids who don't nap, 
um, little individual light tables might be a good idea for those kids at a separate table somewhere. So I hope you got some ideas you can use. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank all of our Teaching Tribe members. Teaching Tribe members that are watching tonight, watch your email inbox announcing our latest office hours tomorrow. We have a very special guest. We have Drew Giles joining us for the benefits of ASL. If you're not a member of the Teaching Tribe, Tom will drop a link in the comments below so you can check out all the benefits that our members receive, such as access 24-7 to all of the paid printables from Pre-K Pages, which is a $1,000 value our supportive community of new and veteran teachers, a safe haven for asking and answering questions, and more than 40 hours of on-demand video training on hot topics in early childhood education. Each comes with a certificate of attendance for one hour. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you Wednesday over in the Facebook group for week four of our No More Teaching Letter a Week book study. So if you haven't watched the first three weeks, you can join now and watch the replays over there. Wednesday night, we'll be doing week four. Talk soon. Bye.